guys, what up? My ghost rocking guitar says dot com. That's Jet with Cold Hard Biatch. Tune standard for this one. I made a little tiny boo boo in the in the beginning part. Nothing major. I'll show you. So yeah, tune standard for this. I'm gonna come up close so you can see what's happening. This is most of the song, and uh, I love this song, man. When they came out, I was like, cool, like ACDC style rock coming back. So um, there's two guitar parts. I'm gonna show you. Um, one of them. I'm not going to say the main. They're both kind of main parts, but um, it's this kind of blues, Chuck Berry blues type where if he goes 5E, 7A, and you want finger 1 and 3, and you're going to use your pinky stretching up to 9 on the A in a second, but go. You'll hit string 6 and 5, uh, and you're going to alternate from 5-7 to 5-9, and then 5-7 to 5-9 again. And then we got to stretch further up to 10th fret on the A, and you keep that first finger on 5E. It's a stretch, guys. And then move that pinky back to 9. That's the first half of this first piece. And then the next part is 5-7 again, then 5-9, back to 5-7, and then 5-10, and then 5-9. So that's your pattern for the first part. Okay, you're going to do that almost a total of four times, but here's the fourth one. Got the first half of it, and then, and then it's going to change. 5-7, five, 5-9, seven, five, five, seven on the E and A, and then go. And this is a D major, kind of the bar form, you know, and then an A major bar type form. You'll go 5A, and then 7-7-7, seven, 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 D, G, and B. Um, try to tuck that first finger underneath the low E to mute it and go two times kind of stop it with this hand you know and then uh, bar up here to uh, the fifth fret on the E and then go 7A, 7D, 6G so and that string 6, 5, 4, 3 and then they go to a G major open position chord 3E, 2A, 3B, 3E Drum all six. Eight, four, five, six, seven again. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we go open A, bar the second fret on the D, G, and B. So it strings five through two. Then uh, leave that bar and go middle finger three B, and then go to four D as well. Hit the same five or same strings five, four, three, two. And then lift these two fingers off. You're back to the bar. So it's. Then open E, third fret E, open E, third fret E, bend it, quarter step. Actually, half step. So we have. And then jump over to D major as quick as you can. There's no resting. 2E, 3B, 2G. Take that thumb and mute the low E and just hit all the strings. And then back to this A chord. And then hit strings 5 through 2. And then you're doing this again. Okay, it'll do that four times and then you go. You know what I mean? So open E, 3 E, open E, 3 E, half step bend, and then the A major chord, and just stop after that. So we have. Four, five, six. Then we go to G major open position once. D major, that third finger is already where it needs to be. And that thumb, go up here and mute. And then two times on the A chord. And then back to this. Okay? So we have. It's just repeating there, okay? And then when it changes, um, the next part will be the D major, because um, it'll wind up going. It'll be two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then two more hits on that, and then E major. 
two A, two D, one G at all six strings. Into the G major. And then the next part goes. And this, all you're gonna be doing is lifting the first finger off to make it an open G note there, but keep the two E and the three B. Okay, and it'll go, and you're muting the low E here. So down, down, up. Lift this first finger off, go down. Bring it back down. Lift it up, back down. And then two more hits. And then another hit. Lift it up, back down. Lift it up. I know it's crazy, but the melody of it's... Just have that with the chord. And then this part. It's the A major, and then rest. And then hit it again, leading to the G major. Rest. Hit it again, leading to the D major. Hit it again. And this is open E, 3A, and this is you're just going to hit string six and five, and we're going to take the first finger and put it on the first fret E, and go back and forth by lifting that. It'll be... So zero, three, one, three, zero, three, one, three, zero, three. And then G major twice. So... And then you start that part over. Was out of tune. Okay, so that's most of Jet with Cold Heart Biatch. If you have questions, let me know. I'll clear it up for you. I'm Mike Gross. Uh, do subscribe, man. You have everything to gain because this is an interactive channel, man. So by subscribing, you can send me your requests. I'll do my research. And my motto is getting these guitar parts the way the guitar players are really playing them, get the tunings right. And if it's a G chord here, let's get it here, as opposed to doing, like, say, a bar chord. So, um, is that anyone perfect at it? No, man. But I want you guys to know I'm doing my homework and research to get these as close as possible to these bands. Um, and I have my methods to my madness. I don't just go look up a tab site. I watch, I listen. And I'm used to doing it, man, because um, I didn't, I wasn't able to get lessons as a kid. Um, not, not formal lessons in the sense of, you know, going to a store. So I really had to learn how to use my ear. And it came in handy, because in 1992, as a young dude, I started teaching full-time. And most of my students want to learn songs. So it really worked to my advantage. Um, so do subscribe, then send me your requests. Um, I'm teaching on Skype. If you want to take your lesson, you're playing to the next level. The fastest way I really do um, encourage the Skype lessons. I charge the same rates as my my students at my the two stores, and that's fifty dollars a month, or not a month, fifty dollars an hour. So um, if that's something you'd be interested in, my Skype name is Rocking Guitar Lessons. Add me only if you're going to do, be doing lessons. If you just add me. Just to chat, I have to delete you because everyone on my Skype, I want to be my students on Skype. We can talk on Facebook. Okay, um, what else? And I have an Ultimate Beginner's Guide DVD too that's really cool. And it's two hours of lessons. Um, really helpful DVD. If you're starting out, you know, if you've been playing for a couple years, I don't suggest the DVD. Wait until I come out with like an intermediate one or something. Um, what else? My website, rockingguitarlessons.com. I'm not going to give a date. Websites take so long, you guys, and um, I keep sticking my foot in my mouth, but I want it to be right for you guys. So just, you know, I'll keep coming here. I ain't going nowhere. Even when the website's up, I'll still be here, you know, with these free lessons for you. Um, it's to your benefit. You know, I know you guys want that website up right now, but we got to make it right, man. And uh, that'll be $25 a month to join. And um, I'm a man with a conscience, and I, I want to be able to justify $25 a month, which isn't much. But right now, there's no lessons on the website. It's being built. It's close though. It's really close. Um, I keep thinking, man, okay, cool, we're ready. But there's, I, it's a personalized site and I got to work on a few more things. I love you. I love all of you guys. Thanks for sticking with me, man. Spread the word about me on my website. Uh, pass my videos around on Facebook, um, other people's YouTube, you know, stuff, people you know that are playing. 
And thanks, man. I'll play this on the outro for you. And uh, I'll meet you back here for some more lessons. Thank <laughs> you.